saying is a parent reasoning with two children. Hi, Charlotte. How are you today? They're all good. Valentina and I are so happy you came to spend the day with us. Right, Lou? Yeah. We have a lot of activities today planned. We're going to go to the playground, and we're going to do an arts and crafts project, right? Yeah. Oh, Charlotte, I forgot to tell you. Did you know I need a necklace? I remember your old nice pink one. It's nice, but don't you think mine's a lot better? Does she make my job better than yours? Where's it all? Raggedy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charlotte, I forgot to tell you this is real crystal. you guys for a minute. Um, before we go to the park and do our arts and crafts project, I actually remember a story in Learn from the Great Teacher book that you guys read at night before you go to bed. Why don't we see uh, what Jehovah thinks about bragging? What do you think about that before we do our project? Okay. Okay. So I know, Charlotte, from talking to um, you that your mom tells you that she doesn't like you to brag, right? Right. And and what do I tell you about bragging, Valentina? Please tell me that um not nice. Right. Well let's see what Jehovah thinks about bragging. I'm gonna read you the first couple paragraphs of this chapter and then I'm gonna ask you a couple questions, okay? The first one says, What does it mean to brag? Do you know? Here is an example. Have you ever tried to do something that you were not good at? Maybe try to kick a soccer ball, or maybe try to skip rope. Did anyone ever say, ha, 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 I can do that better than you can? Well, that person was fun at you, right? What about when you guys were learning to do the hula hoop at the same time? And it was really hard. Would it be kind to say to the other person, well, I'm better than you. You can't do this. Would that be kind? No. No. So, Valentina, what does it mean to brag? It means like what I was just doing, right? Putting yourself above the other person, right? Yeah. And let me read the second paragraph to you. It says, how do you feel when others do that? Do you like it? Then how do you think others feel if you brag about yourself or your things, like your doll or you with your necklace? Do you think it's kind to tell someone else, well, I'm better than you, but what I have is no. better than what you have? No, right? And how do you think Jehovah feels about it? Do you think Jehovah likes bragging? No. No, right? Let me share an example in this chapter about someone that had every <coughs> single right in the world to brag because he was perfect. There was nothing wrong with him, and he was better than everybody else. Let's see what he did. It said, once someone called Jesus good. Did the great teacher say, yes, I am good? Because he yeah. was, right? He didn't. Instead, he said, nobody is good except one, God. So who did Jesus always brag about when he was on earth? The heavenly son, the eternal son. So what about this? When we go to the beach, right? The ocean is so pretty, the seagulls, yeah. right? The sky. Who created those things? Jehovah. Jehovah. So would that be something that we could brag about? Our God, all the magnificent things that he made? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so there's bad bragging about ourselves and our things, and then there's one thing that's appropriate to brag about, and that would be Jehovah. So what do you think you guys learned today? That we shouldn't brag. Right. It hurts other people's feelings, doesn't it? Yeah. And we're not really better than anyone else, are we? Mm -hmm. No. So let's go to our arts and crafts project now, okay? Okay. Hey. Enthusiasm is interesting because oftentimes we associate it with being you know, excited. 